Hello everybody, Piff here, and today's video is getting ready for the High Life DLC. Gonna talk about some things like the prices and how much money I think you would probably need to buy everything for the High Life DLC, and some other things that you may need to know getting ready for the High Life DLC. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you find it informative, if you could support it by dropping a like, and if you are new, if you wanna make sure to subscribe to my channel so you get my videos right away, get all the coverage for the High Life DLC when it does drop. Now, talking about the High Life DLC and possible dates real quick before we get into the video, you guys know that I think that the DLC is going to be coming in early May. Now, I'm making this video on April 29th. It is a Tuesday, and I was expecting we might get something today, and we haven't, but they are starting to end all of their contests and things like that. They're trying to wrap everything up, so it seems like we may get it on May 1st, which would be Thursday this week, letting us know that we're going to get it on that next Tuesday, or we're going to be getting it on that week on Tuesday or Thursday next week letting us know that we're gonna get it the next week those are some like little timetables and possible release dates but now getting into the DLC itself I know a lot of us are mad instead of just sitting here being mad and twiddling our thumbs we could be getting ready for the DLC that's going to drop so what I decided to do is I tried to come up with some price ranges of how much money we are going to need to buy everything in the DLC. If you guys don't know, this DLC is going to have a lot of stuff. It's going to be a lot of money. We're getting a new high-end apartment with the garage. We're getting a new bullpup rifle. We're getting a new wardrobe. We're getting a motorcycle. And then we're getting three new cars. So it's going to cost a lot of money. And basically what I did is for the high-end apartment garage is we said it's probably going to cost around anywhere from 800000 to a million dollars. Now, you know, the highest end apartment we have right now costs $400,000. So I just to be safe and just to have ballparks, all these numbers are ballparks, but I decided to double it up and just say 800,000 is probably how much the new apartments and garages are going to cost, but it could always cost a million as well. And I will cover that on another little price range thing. So let's just say 800,000 for the new apartment. Now the bullpup rifle, the most expensive rifle, it kind of reminds me of the carbine that we have. And that one costs around 14000 So if you wanted to buy the bullpup and you wanted to get all the upgrades and things like that, we're just going to say like $25,000 for that. New wardrobe to buy all the clothes, we're just going to be safe and we're going to say 25000 Now the Dinka Thrust is the new motorcycle. The most expensive motorcycle we have to date is like fourteen dollars or $15,000. So we're just going to say it's probably going to cost anywhere from like fifteen dollars to $20,000 for the motorcycle. Now the Zentorno... Now, basing it off of previous prices, now, if you guys remember in the Valentine's DLC, the big car cost $750,000, I believe, and a lot of people got mad about that. So, when the other update came out, the business update, they put the Turismo all the way down to, it was like $500,000 for the Turismo, and that was the big supercar, which could compete with the Adder. So, that was $500,000. We're just going to be safe. We're going to say that we think the most uh, you know expensive car in the High Life DLC is gonna probably cost like $650,000 just for the car. And then for the sport car, we're just gonna say like 250,000. And then for the SUV, we're gonna say the Huntley SUV, we're gonna say like $150,000. Now this is just to buy everything, the apartment, the rifle, the clothes, the motorcycles, and all the cars without upgrading them. It's gonna probably cost around $2 million. Now. If you're to factor in, you're going to upgrade your motorcycle, you're going to upgrade, you know, the most expensive cars, uh, the sports cars, you know, for the Zentorna, it's probably going to cost around like 400000 to upgrade everything if you max it out. Uh, for the sport, it's probably going to be like 250000 And for the SUV, it's probably going to be 150000 And then just in case the apartment does cost a million dollars opposed to 800000 we're just going to say for all that, if you want to max out everything and just to be safe, you're probably going to need three million dollars in gta to buy everything and max everything out now that doesn't seem like a lot but it is and it's actually not as high as i thought it was going to be i thought it would have probably been like four or five million dollars so that's not too bad three million isn't bad but you know if you're not doing money glitches if you're not doing that stuff you know it is pretty hard to get your money up so what you guys could be doing right now while we're waiting for the dlc to drop potentially next week or the week after is you guys could be grinding missions you could be doing money glitches whatever you guys want to do to get the money so that you're going to be able to buy everything right when it comes out now lastly regarding the rearranging of your garages if you guys didn't catch the video basically a moderator over on the rockstar forum said you will be able to drive your vehicles from one garage into your second garage if you drive them in from your first garage to the second in a particular order they will be rearranged in that order in the garage so basically 
from the way that it sounds is that you're not going to be able to choose the spot that you want to put your car in but now having two garages you're going to be able to basically see where the cars go and drive them into the order that you want them so you could basically arrange it in the way that you want to so basically if you're not getting what i'm saying is when you guys buy your second garage and you're gonna have your first one filled with all the cars that you want now if you wanted to transfer that you know that garage to the second one you'd be able to just drive a car in see where it goes in the garage you could be like, all right, that car goes there. If you don't want that car there, you could then drive it out, drive it into your other garage, and then get the car that you want to put in that spot. Now, that's the way that it seems like you're going to be able to rearrange your garages. You're not going to be able to choose. It's not going to be very easy, but you can do it now, having two garages. So, you know, if you wanted to take your whole first garage and rearrange it into the second or if you wanted to take your first garage, just drive all the cars into the second one and then go and see which spot. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same as the second one, but you'd be able to see, you'd be like, all right, the first car that goes in goes here. So then from your second garage, you could then rearrange your first garage in the order that you wanted to do it. So that sounds like that's the way that you're going to be able to rearrange it. I just want to let you guys know, because if you have 10 cars right now, and then when the new DLC comes out, if you wanted to buy three new cars it might be a little hard to do it when you have 13 cars if you know what i'm saying so i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up about that something else that's going to be real crazy about this new dlc is we've never had multiple properties and the way of calling your mechanics and things like that it's going to open the window for a whole slew of new glitches and things that people are going to be able to do which is kind of crazy but anyways hopefully this video helped you guys out hopefully it's kind of getting you guys ready for the dlc Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, if you could support it by dropping a like. And if you are new, if you want to make sure to subscribe so you get my videos right away when the highlight DLC does drop. I'll have all the coverage on everything that you guys need to know. Thank you guys for watching and some more videos coming soon. I'll talk to you guys later.